It's known as Dead Man's Curve, where the Cross Island Parkway and the Whitestone Expressway meet. It's where a driver crashed New Year's Day, killing all five people on board. And it wasn't the first time. I think of my son all, you know, every day. And um, I think of that, that area, that, that bad curve all the time, thinking of how many more people are going to die there. Chris Arsenault's son Eric was killed riding his motorcycle on the same curve. That was back in 2006. And that's how long Chris has been fighting to try and improve safety conditions here. It's never been fixed. It's never been changed. How many people got to die there before they fix it? We found deaths reported all the way back to 1987 at the intersection, long before his son's death and others that happened long after. The city's Department of Transportation told us in a statement that while a preliminary investigation has determined speeding was a factor in the most recent crash, they are exploring if there are additional safety measures that can be implemented at the location.